Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and I'm here with a really, really short SCP video of SCP-218, a large mass of lamprey, or something like that. I already forgot the title. It doesn't really matter. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. I'm number SCP-218, Ultra Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-218 is contained within a standard aquatic specimen tank, saltwater, tank maintenance is to be carried out by remote drones only, no further procedures are required. Description, SCP-218 is a pret or a colonial organism weighing approximately 1800 kilograms, consisting of several hundred and parasitic lampreys of the family Apetromizontida, Lesnated Apetromizon Anomalous. Individual lampreys specimen in between 50 and 90 centimeters in length are, are similar in appearance to the common sea lamprey. With the exception of, with the primary exception of complex ultraviolet spectrum skin patterning, individual old lamprey is can break off from the primary mass and move under their own power, similarly acting similar to non-anomalous specimens. These motile units will remain in the vicinity of SCP-218's primary body until captured, eaten by colony members. The central mass of SCP-218 contains the organism's primary organ. And as well as a mus muscular foot for locomotion. SCP-218 is capable of surviving out of water for up to an hour, though it is greatly inhibited in mobility. Multi well, units of SCP-218 produce a paralyzing toxins and applied by bite or through the lamprey's mucus is sheet. This toxin inhibits locomotor muscles and will numb the target's pain. All other internal and mental processes will continue unaffected. The paralyzing effect has not been observed to dissipate, and no effective uh, counteragent has yet been discovered. Early observation led researchers to believe that SCP-218 reproduced through the parasitic implantation of multi units into a host body. This behavior has, been, has since been determined to be a atypical thinking behavior, and numerous multi units will grow within the body of still living prey for upwards of 48 hours before normal conception resumes. Physical examination of SCP-218 shortly after containment revealed that the primary mass contained several foreign objects reserved within the main body cavity. SCP-218 was removed from its containment tank and tranquilized to allow for surgery. Objects removed from SCP-218 include 33 pearls, averaging 3 centimeters in diameter. Holes bored through which indicated that they were previously part of a necklace. One doll in figurine carved out of smooth coral. Two gold bracelets. Four bone hairpins. One toy shell hair comb. One boat on figurine of SCP-218. Shows signs of, of heavy wear through handling. One human skeleton, being that of a female child, estimated to be between 4 and 6 years of age. Skeleton was similar to chalk, a uh, consistency and embedded with 135 pearls. Scapula, believed to be that of a red deer, engraved three humanoid white figures, two adults and one child. Assumed to be the subject and parents. Both the skeleton and artifacts date to approximately 7500 BCE, though do not resemble the artifacts of other Neolithic groups in the region of recovery. Other than them, too, SCP 218's behavior became significantly more agile after removal of the, the aforementioned objects. Indeed, we would repeatedly eat against walls of its. 
ink or attempt to scale them. Remember the four air pencils placed back into in the containment tank. SV2 continues one of its colony members as renewable aider to retrieve the pen, then place it back inside its central cavity through means of a large earth sphincter. This dorsal sphincter sphincter was not as an until the removal of the body and artifacts. So basically it's some sort of um large mass of lampreys, which are a disturbing parasite species. That seems to be over nine thousand years old at least. That is known for eating people and stuff. I don't get it either. If you enjoyed this video somehow, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be recording SCP things until my tongue gets better. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then. Goodbye.